So today we have a 55 gallon tank that we've been servicing for about eight months now. I just put that trumpet coral in there today. That's kryptonite candy cane trumpet. Um, that's a blast though. He's receded a little bit just because uh, I just was in there doing some work. And I just put in this red mushroom. But before we started servicing this tank, there was uh, bad cyanobacteria. Um, just a lot of issues and they weren't able to keep uh, corals. But as you can see now, we have the blasto in there that's doing really well. Um, we have several different types of mushrooms in here that are all doing pretty well. There's another blasto and we have an A-can that's rocking and rolling. That's doing good. The hammer coral is doing well. An enemy is splitting like crazy. This thing is just popping out babies like left and right. Some pallies. And I put some, we have some uh, zinnia, some blue zinnia back there. Some more mushrooms in the back. We're going to be adding some more stuff, but we're adding it slowly. Um, we have a maroon clownfish that's super aggressive. This thing is an absolute beast. Like very territorial over that anemone. So there's no really getting any more fish in this tank because this thing is just super, just crazy aggressive. You can see how it is. Angry every time I put my hand in here. There's also a flame angel in here. A six line wrasse. Oh, a bunch of aggressive fish. There's also a uh, blue hippo tang in here as well. But, oh and a yellow tang. He's hiding behind there. But the tank has come a long way. It's doing really well. And it is running on a canister filter. So this canister filter is the Fluval. And this is a new canister filter that they had. They had an older one before, but it, it broke. It started leaking. This is their new one. Uh, but this tank has been running on a canister filter for since the day it's been up and running. So it is... So we'll go ahead and take this uh, canister out side and we'll clean it out and I'll give you guys a rundown. So now that we have this uh, canister filter outside, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Show you guys what's inside here. So. We have some sponge material right here, which helps with filtration by catching some uh, some debris. But also there's some surface uh, area on there for bacteria to grow, which helps keep the tank, you know, balanced. And then we open it up here and we have some more uh, filter me uh, media here, some more spongy ma uh, material, some more spongy material. And the same thing, it's, it's going to polish your water, it's going to collect any type of little debris or whatever out of the water. Also provides surface area for bacteria. This looks to be um, some carbon. Some more carbon underneath there. So two carbon bags underneath there, which is nice. And then you have some uh, bio pellets, which again, more surf surface area for bacteria to colonize and help with the filtration of your water breaking down ammonia and nitrate and nitrite and all that stuff. Um, so the thing with canister filters is you can see this has been a two weeks. They get pretty dirty. They get pretty gunky. So you want to go ahead and, you know, you want to try to clean these things every week or, you know, we come here every two weeks and we clean it. So let me go ahead and toss you to Tommy of Tanknitions and he's going to give you a quick rundown of why canister filters can be a problem in the salt water in a saltwater tank. So I'm not a huge fan of canister filters in saltwater aquariums because they produce a ton of nitrates. The reason why they do this is they're very efficiently breaking down any organic matter within them. So uneaten fish food, fish waste is getting caught in the filter pads and then the pump is forcing water through there. And uh, all that organic matter needs to break down into nitrate is oxygenated water running across it. That's going to allow the bacteria the perfect environment to convert it from ammonia to nitrate to nitrate. Thank you. Cool. So real quick, here's the nitrates. Now they are under five. They're, they're not horrible. Um, but you can see they're still pretty, pretty high for as much as we're here. The water change size that we do. I just did a, a good uh, 
10, 15 gallon water change on a 55 gallon. So, and we do that probably every two weeks, but you can see the nitrates are still, are still there. Now, not that this is bad, but you definitely got to stay on top of them. So the other thing I wanted to show you is we are running two AI Prime lights on this tank, which we've recently added, and it's made a world of difference on the coral. Uh, she had like a current marine light on here before, which was just terrible light. But um, overall, I'm really happy with the, this tank's um, progression. It's doing really well. Um, I, I like this new canister filter. I like the return it has. It's got nice, strong flow. It doesn't have that bar. It's got a, an actual outtake valve, which is really nice, instead of just that spray bar. So you're getting more flow concentrated. Plus, we have a couple power heads in here as well. All right, so that's going to do it for today. I just wanted to go over that real quick, and I'll leave you with uh, Tommy the Perfectionist here. Was this in the shot? It's all right. All right. Let's let's be professional. It's just my channel. Doesn't matter. Not a big deal.